God exists, why is there so much pain and suffering in the world that we live in? Why would God create a world with infectious agents? I'm joined today by Dr. Francisco Delgado, who is a Christian and a physician who specializes in the treatment of infectious diseases to unpack these questions. Paco, um, you know, when it comes to pain and suffering in the world, probably nothing exemplifies that more than the, the microorganisms that, that are around us that cause so many diseases, so much pain and suffering, some of it rather horrific. And so it really begs the question, why would an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-good God create a world that is rife with bacteria? Yes. I could turn that question around a little bit and say, well, really, what is the role that microorganisms have in the environment? And if we look at the environment, if we consider, for example, that our body is covered with bacteria, we will see that those bacteria really perform very beneficial roles in every single part of our body. So the part of the bacteria or the viruses that may be uh, causing disease is really a very small percentage of those that are in the, uh, in the environment as a whole. So what are then some of the, the, the beneficial functions that these microorganisms perform for us? Because that might be rather shocking to people to learn that bacteria actually do good things for us. And that is correct. This is something that uh, we have just started to learn in the last uh, few years. We know that the bacteria on our skin, for example, uh, help our skin stay healthy. They help with wound repair. They help on fending off the really bad bacteria that could cause infections and that they could, they could get in, in the, invade our bodies and cause uh, more disease. There are actually even some studies in which uh, we've seen that some of these bacteria actually produce anti-cancer agents that may be protecting our skin from uh, ultraviolet-induced uh, tumors. So what are some other things that these bacteria do that are associated with our bodies? In our gut is where we have the most uh, bacteria of all. And in the gut, they actually can perform things that I, we really are not even uh, imagining. There are many papers coming out, for example, about how uh, bacteria have an effect on obesity. They have an effect on diabetes. They have an effect on heart disease. They have actually an effect even possibly on depression. So they impact every single one of the other systems in our body. And we are just starting to discover how they benefit us. So, so in many respects, you could say then that God created a world with bacteria because these are uh, organisms that are in a symbiotic relationship with, with humans and probably with other organisms that kind of augment their, their biology. That is correct. Those bacteria in our bodies are actually an extension of the functions of our body, and it, they help us to maintain our health. I mean, when you think about it, you know, bacteria are these, you know, isolated systems, at least to, at first approximation, that essentially form compartments that allow for highly specialized chemical reactions to take place where those end products can then be secreted into the environment. So it's a very elegant way of creating these mini bioreactors, right? In terms of thinking about the design of the living realm. Little bioreactors that actually are going to be used in the well-functioning of our, of our bodies. To me, that's another way of seeing how creation benefits us as humans. Yeah.